hello friends. I just briefly wanted to go over what you're to be doing this week for your assignments. Um, just since you have to click off to different website and look at things, I don't want anyone to get confused. So um, basically your work this week will be focused around looking at um, a website called the Critical Media Project. And basically the aim of this project is the idea um, that representation matters and that in all the shows, movies, even the ads, all the all the, the images and influences um, that we take in throughout our lives, um, seeing ourselves somehow reflected back to us does make a difference in terms of how valued and affirmed we feel as individuals. Um, so we're often unaware of it because it's like, um, you know, you just you just love a movie because uh, you were moved by it or it was really fun and you loved the chases and the this and that. Um, and sometimes you forget that uh, you didn't actually see anyone that looked or acted like you up on the screen. And but somehow subconsciously um, it is having an impact. So uh, you're asked this week in your assignments to look really like overtly at this issue of representation and who are we seeing on the screen um, and and when we see them, uh, what kind of roles are they playing? How much do they speak? What kinds of things do they say when they're speaking? Uh, so there is this critical media project that that uh, asks students, you, to do a variety of things. And then there's also this uh, project that a guy named Dylan Marin has done. Um, and, and so you get to to take a look at why stories matter. He's got a video that you get to watch this week and see how he goes through movies like E.T., Lord of the Rings. And he actually counts like how many seconds a person of color is speaking on the screen. Uh, and then for your journal, you'll do something like that. You'll choose a, shoot, a show or uh, a movie that you really like, and you'll watch a representative sample of it with an eye towards some group that's often marginalized. So it could be someone with disabilities. It could be someone of a certain religion, could be a, you know race. Uh, so you have, you have choices. You get to choose this week, okay? So the first thing you'll do is you'll just take a look at the Critical Media Project website. You've got the link here. So this is what the website looks like. And when you get to it, you'll notice that it lists across the top here some choices of groups that are often marginalized or not seen or represented so, represented so well in the media that we consume. Um, so you are going to, for the discussion, you're going to uh, choose a group and you are going to take a look at the materials that they provided. So let's say you want to do disability. You're interested in that issue. So you will click on that, on disability. And then when you get to the page for the group that you've chosen, you'll see there's a topic overview, a lesson and worksheet, and a playlist. Um, so you will take a look at those. And you'll also notice as you scroll down that there are examples from various media um, when it comes to this group and its representation. So um, we're looking at disabilities here. So you, you, you're going to take a little bit of time to watch at least two, three, four of these examples. And notice that there's more than one page of examples. So you can you can click through. So you're going to get an idea of, um, you know, how much how much are, are people with disabilities uh, in in the shows and movies and things that we see. And when we see them, how are they represented? Um, so what you will end up doing after you have read the topic over overview is you are going to go to the lesson and worksheet and it tells you, you know, here's what we're after. But if you scroll down, that is where you're going to see um, some questions that you get to answer. So what I'm asking of you once you've looked at these is that you choose somewhere between one to five of the questions listed on this, this section. And it could be you choose just one and you've got plenty to say. Um, you know, you're able to write for 15, 20 minutes. It could be that you want to, um, you know, address a whole bunch of these questions here. So you get to decide how many of the questions you answer in your journal. Okay. So that's where you're going to find your response for, I'm sorry, not for your journal, for your discussion. I misspoke. Um, so then when you have written up uh, a good responses to one to five of these questions, you will post what you've written to the discussions area. And then you get to respond to each other's writings. Um, for the uh, journal this week, that's where you get to look at uh, this guy, Dylan Merritt, and what he's done with his every single word. He has a Tumblr, but also he has this video. Um, and you can see him here. So he talks for, it's about 10 minutes, but what he does is he goes through some movies and he kind of shows the scenes that have people of color. And he, you know, looks at how long they're on the screen and, and the depictions that they have. 
Um, so once you have kind of looked at what he's doing for this and you get a sense of, of um, sort of cataloging, you know, what you see in terms of a certain group being represented, uh, what you're going to do for your journal this week is you're going to choose a show or a movie that you really enjoy and you are going to watch a representative amount of it. So I would say a minimum of five minutes, but it could be you watch an entire episode. But while you're watching, you might want to have a little paper, have your phone. You're going to be kind of taking some notes. You might even want to have a stopwatch because you're going to be timing. So you're going to choose a group um, that's often marginalized that, um, and you're going to see, you know, how much screen time does that group get? Now, obviously, you, you don't want to... Uh, stack the deck in terms of this like you don't want to you don't want to choose a show where you know there's going to be lots of black people because then you can show that there's lots of black people you want to show just choose a show that you really like so if you're someone who loves the office okay fire up an episode of the office and say i'm going to look at how much people with disabilities occur in this episode and you have to think to yourself first like what am i talking about with disabilities so that might make a difference. But when you see a character or when you, you know, hear that character speak, you're going to note how, how much screen time do they get? How many characters are there? And when they're speaking, what are the kinds of things they're saying? So what is their representation on the screen? So basically, you get to choose a show or a movie you like. You get to choose one of the groups that we see on that Critical Media Project website. So they list them. Could be LGBTQIA, you know. So you're going to choose that. And then you're going to see how much representation is there of this group. And um, once you've done that, kind of collected your data, as it were, uh, you're going to consider these questions and just kind of like generally, you know, in terms of the show or the movie that you've selected, what do you see in terms of representation overall? Like what groups of people in the in the United States would feel most uh seen and represented when it comes when, when they're watching this show or this movie? And for marginalized groups, you know how much are they seen and represented so like what messaging is present okay so you got two things to do uh this week of course the the, the discussion in the journal and um i know that it's a little bit like wait where do i go what do i do what do I, you know so please just make sure you follow the links um you know for this this tumblr i have to say when i look at it it seems a little chaotic to me i kind of like what am i what am i seeing i find watching this video of him much clearer in terms of understanding the mission of what he does so just take a little bit of time to click on the links and then you're going to do some writing so for the discussion you'll answer between one and five of those questions that were on that lesson plan section for your journal you're going to choose something that you actually have enjoyed and you're going to do a little data collection in terms of seeing how a marginalized group of your choice is represented in that show or that movie. Okay, um, so I hope that you get something out of it and enjoy.